What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we are back with another Marvel Snap video. And I wanted to introduce all of you wonderful people out there to the deck that Glenn Jones from Second Dinner, he's one of the top dudes over there, I want to introduce you to the deck that he used to reach infinite. I've been playing it this morning, it's pretty sweet, so I thought I would share all of you so you can uh, get a little, a little cube action on your way to reaching infinite rank this season. Might even do well in conquest mode, who knows? But before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name's Chris. I also go by Bootman. I love going over different deck card strategies to help you out. So if you want to help me out, if you want to give me an amazing Christmas gift that doesn't cost you a penny, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 13,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So that would be an amazing Christmas present to your boy. And I promise to provide you with some amazing content in return. And, and make sure you follow me on Twitter too, at BootmanMSTZ, because I do monthly season pass giveaways. I give away three for free every single month. All you got to do is be subscribed, follow me on Twitter. Links down in the description below. All right, let's jump into this thing. <clears throat> so this is Glenn jo Jones deck. He calls it Shake and Bake. This might look familiar to you. It might look a little familiar. Okay, this is another Black Knight list. Uh, I made a video on a Black Knight list uh, from Nando, and I've been looking for Black Knight lists ever since he got buffed. So those of you who don't know, Black Knight recently got buffed where the Ebony Blade cannot be destroyed and its power cannot be reduced, all right? Hey everybody, super quick edit here. Uh, I forgot to mention this in the video. If you do not have Black Knight and these Black Knight lists that everybody's playing look interesting to you, Black Knight is coming up in the spotlight caches on December 26th. Uh, Marvel Snap Zone has uh, a full schedule over there. And this looks like a pretty good week. Like I know, like, like Iron Lad's a great card. I personally think Celine's gonna be great too. So if you want Black Knight, I do share my final thoughts on Black Knight decks at the end of this video, but I did want to let you all know that um, Black Knight is coming up. If you don't have this card, uh, you can get it pretty soon. <laughs> all right, back to the video. So this is, um, this is uh, Glenn's list. And yeah, it's a little bit of a spin because it's a combination of Black Knight and Junk, but also Magneto is an amazing card right now. I just... <laughs> I just tweeted out a screenshot. I just tweeted out a screenshot. I was playing against a surfer list. Like Magneto's great right now. People running Darkhawk, people running Surfer. I was playing against a surfer list and Rickety Bridge was on the on the board. I didn't have priority. So they laid down their cards after I snapped. I pulled all of their cards, like every single one of their three cost cards onto the Rickety Bridge. It was hilarious. Magneto is a phenomenal card right now. But anyways, uh, so yeah, those of you who don't know, by the way, Glenn Jones is the principal game designer. So he's the one like in charge uh, of like uh, a lot of the balance updates and everything like that for these cards. And he plays too. And he hits infinite so this deck's pretty interesting like black cats in here and not gonna lie like some games it's pretty interesting because you'll have black knight and black cat in your hand on turn one you throw down black knight and then boom you get a free uh a free card uh a free ebony blade and then you can bring back in the other um uh, your other black hat, or you could discard something else and then kind of gamble, right? But we also have the Annihilus um, strategy in here. But I also like this that this has Carnage. I like, like I mentioned in a uh, in a deck video the other day, I like when there's multiple ways to get rid of Hood and Sentry Sing. So you have like a few different things going on. And I like that. I think it's an interesting list. So anyways, I'm gonna shut up. Let's jump into some games. I'll show you how it plays to see if it's something that you wanna try out. And if you're new here, I show the losses as well because I don't want to overhype any decks. I want to show you how these decks match up in the current meta. All right, let's jump into a few games. All right, so this sucks. I don't have uh, a Nihilus or I would put this here. I guess I could still put this here just in case, just in case. Because even still, uh, I might draw um, our buddy, uh, Annihilus. Yeah, and sometimes with Carnage too, like I've used Carnage to just eat Black Knight. You know what I mean? We have no idea what deck we're playing against. So it's like, do I put this down? I think I'm gonna put, ah, uh, uh, cause I can play this next turn. Let's do this and let's do this. Yeah, yeah, they're admiring the Jeff Crackle. Crap. Oh, I'm like, well, I don't know what deck they're playing. 
You're welcome. You're welcome, Zwag. Such is my that might be bad if they can get some stuff going. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was getting uh, I was like, oh, I'm going to get Tribunal. Nope, it's the card they played. Um... Let's put this here. Yikes. That's a big yikes. Okay, so that's gonna... Turn to four. Let's do this. Um, God, Necrocia's great for their deck, too. Not their, not their deck, but the fact that they pulled Tribunal. Get a little, like, get one more power over here. See what they can do. I I, I I I don't have the mental capacity to do the math. <laughs> yeah, it might have been a better play to um since I had infinite. I can't remember if I had infinite when I also had century, but maybe to play century here and infinite over there. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Cause yeah, this they might they might ruin my life right here. <laughs> nope. Oh. What? Oh, dang. Wow. Wow. That was a bold move. They knew I skipped. They knew I skipped. They might not have known that I had infinite, but wow, that was like a bold move. Cause like, what if I played Infinite over here? They were just, they were in trouble. Like they had a lot of power, like to like spread it out. That's very interesting. Caught me off guard, caught me off guard. And yeah, if I would have kept Jeff middle, no, I think we lose, we lose. Cause then I would have had a uh, 10 there. They'd be up by, well, yeah, yeah. All right, next game. Uh, a little juggernaut. Oh, see? Here's a combo. Black Knight. Easy. <laughs> right, let's do that. Come on, Danger Room. Come on. Uh... I think I'm gonna do this, and I'll do this. Just in case I get, um, cause I'm gonna wanna play Magneto, I'm guessing, cause it looks like they're playing uh, maybe a Darkhawk deck. So I'm just gonna do this, and then if I get um, Ghost Rider, I can go four, five, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> okay, so they might be doing like the double Black Knight list. Put you here. Ghost Rider would be an amazing draw. Ugh. Oh my god, like I it's like times like this where it's like I wish I had Howard. You know? Like I would have completely played this different if I knew uh this was coming. Let's do this, let's do this. Hopefully my thing stays, theirs does not. Oh. Hmm. They have priority, or I have priority. Like, 
I can compete for middle if I drop, like if I drop this and they're gonna give me some uh, two extra power, then I lose that lane. Then I do this. But they could just drop Giganto over here because they we know they have a 14 power Ebony Blade, right? Huh. Yeah, that's a that's a bit risky. That sucks that we drew uh that we drew sentry right there. Like it would have been so much better if we already had sentry in hand, like I could have done I could have worked some magic right there. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get you out here. Alright, now give me blade. Now give me blade. Or Sif. I'll take a Sif. I'll take a little Sif action. You are neither of those, but we have the Annihilus set up. If I was playing for realsies, I'd be snapping. Interesting. They're going to be able to move their lizard. Maybe. Maybe, because I'm about to Annihilus all over their face. Sandman? So I put this here. We're going to be winning here unless I have, like, Dr. Ooh. Oh, not sure how much I like that. Yeah, like I'm almost feeling like this is like a, a Nimrod play. It's gotta be, right? Like they're playing Ebony Maw, so they have a way to get in there. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, this is hard. So let's see. <clears throat> That'll be five or four. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what their play is here. Like if they do a taskmaster, we're fine unless they move one of these. Like this might be a bad stay. This might be a bad stay. Let's see what happens. Cause yeah, Nidavalier too. <laughs> Ooh, that sucks man that's crazy this wow this game board really helped them out they had new york where they could move they got little valier to get five extra power on their taskmaster too like that's bonkers we eked it out by what that black cat black cat helped us you know what i mean all right let's see if we can get one more win Put you there. Give me Black Knight. Oh, wait. <laughs> Woo! I know you said bless you. I know you said it. So play this out. Um, how, many how many times is this gonna pop out after I play my hood? You know what I mean? Not a lizard. Interesting. Black Knight. Playing a dangerous game. Playing a dangerous game. Because, like, the other thing is, like, what if... What if... <laughs> I'm about to say something nobody's ever said in their life. <laughs> what if, uh, what if X Magic is an amazing card? You know, <laughs> like I probably should just wait. I don't know. I don't know. Lizard and rock slide. Okay. All right. Let's see. 
It's gonna be Angel. Ooh, get some. So let's go ahead and do this. We discarded Black Cat, right? What would be nice is a Black Knight. That'd be amazing. We could actually probably float and drop a... Uh, let's see what they play. Yeah, like we could probably float, right? And then just drop an infinite. See where they play like are they going to be able to unless they have mystique like are they going to be able to get 18 points of power in middle you know are they even going to compete for middle because then they would have to take this to 32 but they do have bishop they don't have zabu out so the amount of low cost cards they can run very thin what heck is this is it like you're throwing me off boo oh there she is there's the girl. Okay, if they're running Eliath, they have to guess where I'm playing. So, 50-50, which don't usually work out in my favor. If this comes down to a 50-50, I'm gonna take it as a win. That's what I'm gonna do. I guess they could have Shadow King. Take that down to two. Take this down to six. That'd be eight, 28. Then we'd still win that. Nope, not nearly enough. Sorry. That's an interesting deck, right? One other thing. Cool, 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 cool. I do wonder, I'm like, do you need, do you need Sunspot if you're running Infinite though? Like, do you always have to have Sunspot? You know what I mean? All right, everybody, that is Glenn Jones, principal game designer over at Second Dinner. That is his Shake and Bake Infinite deck list. It's pretty good. I like, <clears throat> like, as you saw me, like, kind of talking through the process and the different play lines and stuff, like, I like that. I like decks that make you think, you know what I mean? So with that, I think this is one of the more interesting Black Knights decks. But man, I've been playing so much Black Knight lately, and it's just the inconsistency. Brad Sefer and I talked about it on our podcast. People are hitting infinite with it. And like, I'm just gonna be very blunt right here, and some people aren't gonna like to hit this. If you play smart, you could take almost any half decent deck to infinite all right like if you play smart if you're a skilled player right like glenn jones has been playing card games forever you know what i mean i could see him taking this deck to infinite i could see like uh you know just a skilled player taking this to infinite but if you're like newer like definitely take these decks to the proving grounds really get a feel for them really really especially this one this deck is probably more complex since it has so many more things going on than like other decks you really got to think it through wonder what card you're you're uh gonna be drawing and everything like that so keep that in mind all right but anyways that's all i got for this video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you're new subscribe ring that notification bell that's your christmas gift to me we're trying to hit 13,000 subscribers by the end of the year you can help me out and i promise to provide you with some amazing content in return all right and don't forget follow me over on twitter at bootman mstz if you want to be part of our monthly season pass giveaways that's all i got for this video have an amazing rest of your day see you in the next one